Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I want to show you the bookcase that I purchased at Aldi's last week. This bookcase was only $49.99 and as you can see it's pretty tall. So I picked this up and it was very easy to assemble. It only took me about 30 to 45 minutes. So I want to show you how I styled it with mostly thrifted items. So up here on the top I have this like soup mug that I thrifted for 50 cents a few months ago and I just had it in my cabinet and I wasn't really using it so I just bought a pothos plant from Walmart and this was I think 234 and I just stuck it down in here and decided I was going to use it as a pot and then next to it is our Thai Buddha and I thought it looked really good here on the top shelf next to this plant so on the second shelf I have two books underneath and these I thrifted a few months ago and they were 99 cents each and they're just home interior books this one is how to decorate and this one is decorating details so I just have them stacked in the middle of the shelf and then on top this was a thrifted jar that I got and I want to say I paid like 75 cents for this and this was thrifted about a year ago and I've kind of used it different ways and it's traveled all over my house but I liked it on top of the book so I have it here and next to it I have this wooden hippo that was passed down to me from my grandfather so I have him sitting next to the glass jar here and then on the other side is the wooden basket that I thrifted a couple months ago. I used to have this on a small floating shelf that I donated. And if you saw my donation haul, you'll see that that shelf went. But anyway, I got this little basket here a couple months ago for a dollar. And then I just have this little small plant. I got this plant at Aldi's for like $1.99 a few months ago. I don't even know what it is. It was just named foliage which could be anything so if anybody knows what this plant is please comment down below and let me because i have no idea what it is but i just set it down here in this basket okay so on the third shelf i have this gold and bronze frame here and i thrifted this years ago i put a vintage photo inside of it so I put this in the gold frame and I like the vintage tones so I put that here and then next to it is another pothos plant that I picked up at Walmart this was also one of the two dollar and 34 cent ones and it was in a four inch container but I had this extra pot liner so I moved it in a little bit of a bigger pot so it could sit down in this pot which I also got at Walmart and it's just a white like striped pot here and I want to say this was like a dollar 79 or something like that so I have that in there okay moving down to the fourth shelf I just have this round basket with the handles and if you saw my scrap exchange thrift store haul video I got this a couple weeks ago and it was two dollars and I don't have anything in it yet but I'm thinking I'm gonna do a small shallow pot inside of here and I think I might plant some little succulents and just keep that down in here or I might use it for something else I'm not sure but right now it's empty but I like the way it looked here on this shelf and then these are the two books that I picked up last week vegan source book and the Western garden book and I have those on top of another book that I thrifted about six seven months ago and this is icons of the 20th um, century it's got a ton of black and white photos of a lot of famous people and then kind of a write-up about each person and that is how i styled the fourth shelf okay so the final shelf is probably one of my favorites and i just got these two cube organizer baskets and they're not a canvas and they're not quite a basket material i'm not sure what they're really called but they have this nice little wooden handle here. The color was very similar to the shelf here, and I like the dark material and the little gold studs that they had. And these are from the Better Home and Garden collection, and they were $9.88 a piece. 
in this one here, I just have some games, some extra remotes, uh, a phone speaker, an extra candle, and just some other various things. And then in this basket, I just have some extra throw blankets. I will try to put a link in the description box if you're interested in ordering these online. So I am looking for something to go on the other side of the TV on the wall to balance out the tallness of the bookshelf here. So I want something tall to go here on the wall. And I also want to put something above the TV here just to kind of frame the entire TV area. I was thinking maybe some sort of simple gallery wall. If you guys have any suggestions, please comment down below. I'd love to hear them. So this area is a work in progress, so I will definitely try to go thrifting and find something really cool for this area. And I'll show you how that looks once I finish that. Once again, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and please stay tuned for more.